Over the next few minutes, I'll show you how to use Charistics Conformance software to perform a gap analysis between two HL7 interface specifications. This is useful when you've got several gaps to work through, rather than reading through a series of sample messages from a source system in order to figure out the, those gaps. You can automate this process with the gap analysis tool in Charistics Conformance. So here's what you see when you first open Charistics Conformance. That's the profile library section where the profiles are accessed. And here's the menu bar. We'll go to Tools and select Gap Analysis. And here you can decide if you'd like to run a gap analysis between two profiles or between a profile and an HL7 log. Let's select a, let's just go ahead and do the uh, profile comparison. And now a new window opens here. And over here is a list of reference profiles, and here's what you want to compare to. Let's go ahead and select a, a demo product profile we've already created over here. And here's a profile for a site-specific deployment of that product. We'll click Next, and the, the profiles load. You've got the reference profile on the, on the left, the comparison profile in the middle and over here is a filter pane on the right. Now let's review all this. There are two basic kinds of gaps. The red, red indicates that the corresponding data element is missing in the other profile. You've got yellow. Yellow just means that there's some of the element that's missing, not the whole thing. And now at first glance this is a lot of gap information to take in and sometimes you don't need this much information so there's a way to filter out what you don't need. And This is where the filter pane comes in. You can pick whatever elements you want to focus on and then you can just ignore the rest. So let's go ahead and take a look at the ADT messages. And for this comparison let's just say we need to look at the patient admissions and if transfers and discharges, and maybe a few of the others. So we'll go select none and select a few of these messages. We'll hit apply. You can see that's a lot less information to have to process. Now let's just take a look at one of those messages and see what the gap is. In this AO6 message, it's the merge segment, and you can see over here, under the site-specific profile, that they've had to add a couple of fields to deal with the patient wristband data, and these fields are not going to be in the reference profile. So now that we have the filter set up for this gap analysis, we can also view all of this information as a word report. We'll just go up to the menu bar and click Open Report. and a document opens in Word. You've got the reference profile and the queried profile listed up front. And when we scroll through, you can see that essentially this follows the HL7 document format that we're all familiar with. You've got a list of the gap events that we worked with, and along with any of the gaps that the data elements related to these events might have. If we scroll through again, we click through on the merge segment, and you'll see that that wristband data that we, that we discovered in the Charistics Conformance Profile is still here. Now you can save this document and share it with people working on the interface, including your customer. And that's our demo and tutorial on gap analysis with Charistics Conformance software. Thanks for watching.